All right, we're going to walk through some voltage checks during the sequence of operation. Um, on the unit that I'm going to use, it's a heat on the unit, uh, electric heat. So we have a Goodman air handler with a 5kW heat strip kit installed. And what I'm going to do is to cut down on the noise, I'm going to remove a wire to disable the heat from running. And also, I'm going to pull the speed wire for the fan, uh, the medium speed, I think, is what we're going to use. But I'm going to remove it off of the relay so that it doesn't turn on and make a whole bunch of noise while we're doing some checks. Uh, you'll see me put it back in place so we can actually see the motor running, but uh, I'm going to remove it just to cut down on, on some noise. So uh, let's go through the sequence checks. The first set of checks we're going to do is fan operation. We're going to turn the fan from auto to on on the thermostat and walk through uh, the wires and where we would actually use uh, our meter to check for voltage. The description that I'm going off of is going to be, or excuse me, the uh, sequence that I'm going off of is going to be in the description of the original video. So, all right, let's see if we can knock this out in one take because I hate editing. All right, we're going to check the W and C circuits, but uh, they're simple checks that we always do before, uh, you know, just to, just to get the troubleshooting started, all right? So the first one's gonna be always prove your high voltage power into the unit. So we got L1 and L2 right there. You can see we got about 212 volts coming in. Uh, that's good. It, it should be, you know, 240 on a, on a typical residential house. Once we know we've got main power coming in to a terminal block or um, whatever uh, set of fuses you may have, this is coming straight off a breaker. We wanna make sure that we go and we have high voltage power to the transformer. So we come over here to our transformer and we're gonna to touch the high voltage leads that are input power uh, on the primary. And you can see we've also got 212 uh, volts as well. So our main power is getting to our transformer. If we have main power to the transformer primary, then we should have, and I'm gonna put one lead and keep it there on the secondary, we should be able to check the 24 volt side of the transformer, the, the secondary side, and you can see we've got 28 volts there. So we're set up with proper high voltage power to run the fan motors, heat strips, and we've also got the low voltage power that we need to actually run the thermostat and do uh, the control side of things. So always check incoming power, power into the transformer, and power out of the transformer, all right? Uh, the next step that I would do if I'm doing uh, low voltage troubleshooting is I'm going to um, check 24 volts at my thermostat sub base. So uh, let me swing you over there real quick and we'll, uh, we'll get to that one. All right, here's the sub base for our transformer. Excuse me, the sub base for our transformer. We've got our R and C, our, our red and black. That's our 24 volt power. G and Y is already wired. The only check that you can do here is to check for your RNC terminals and you can see we have 28 volts. I think you can see that. Let me see. We got uh, 28 volts right there. All right, I'm gonna try to put that uh, up in the top of the screen here. Um, once, you, once you pull the thermostat off, if it's the one where you're just exposing the terminals on the back side, then that's really about the only check you can do. Um, if you check R to C, uh, you're going to get 20, 28. If I check R to G, I'm going to get 28. I'm going to check R to Y, that's 28. Uh, the only thing that you really need to check is your 24 volt power because everything else is uh, kind of a false sense of hope because you don't have 24 volts on G. All right, so stick with the basic checks. Don't check anything but, but your 24 volt power on the thermostat because everything else is uh, voltage checks across the switch basically. And unless you're really prepared for that mentally, uh, you would think that when I check R to G, I get 24 volts that, I'm, that I've got power on G. And, and that's not right. Uh, you're checking across a uh, switch basically. Uh, an open switch will give you voltage when there's nothing passing through it. It's because your, your voltmeter gives you the difference between those two lines of power. G has got nothing, R has got 24, so guess what you get? 24 versus nothing, that's 24 volts difference, okay? So be careful about checking the thermostat. Uh, but in our case here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the G, the G circuit. I'm gonna turn the fan from auto to on. Uh, and I'm going to put, uh, just to keep it to here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one lead on common on my transformer. My other lead I can use to check the green wire here. 
all right so if the thermostat truly was sending power out red powers to the thermostat and it uh, powers the thermostat and also is the 24 volt power that we're going to split kind of like cable we're going to split it between g and w and, and y um, but just for the fan only operation i've got 24 volts on g because uh, i'm referencing the common always go back to the other side of power that you're wanting to check for okay so in this case is 24 so i'm always going to leave one lead on that common so 24 volts on g there but that's only at the first wire nut this is the first connection uh, in the thermostat wire leaving the thermostat i would need to go even further and check the green wire where it plugged into the circuit board to truly know that 24 volts made it all the way so all the way to the end of the circuit all right and i and i've got 24 volts there so uh in theory our relay should uh, be passing uh, high voltage power so we know we've got high voltage power um, I'm gonna put that back on here alright so it's 212 that's gonna be going up here into this relay alright so I could check on this red wire to see if it really was high voltage okay let me put my lead back so yes I've got 212 volts going to that relay if it were coming out of that relay, then right here on this common terminal, I would have 212. So that voltage is going in on that red and coming through the switch and coming out on this common. Um, I'm gonna plug the medium speed back in. And guess what? The fan's on. I can easily do an amp draw um, on that uh, medium speed wire and I'm looking at a little over one amp um, so the fans working if the fan wasn't working and uh, voltage checks revealed that the switches were doing fine then you might have to go in uh, and look at a capacitor or something like that so I'm gonna kill that the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna do it with a W circuit okay so I'm gonna turn the heat on now our contactor that we're using for heat is already pulled in but let's focus on the on the check so leave one lead on the common on your transformer and i could check this white wire here coming in all right so okay 28 volts we're good so it at least made it out the thermostat i know that the th by checking here we know that the thermostat has done its job and sent the voltage down the appropriate circuit what you would need to do after that is follow where this white wire goes and on this particular uh, heater kit it goes into this plug so I could check to make sure that uh, if the wires good I'll have voltage going into the plug and you can see I've got 28 volts if the plug is good I'll have voltage coming out of the plug so we'll check that white wire 28 volts and if we follow this white wire on around it goes all the way to the contactor we're using for our heat so I can check down here and I've got 28 volts as well so I know that voltage wise that my contactor should be pulling in uh, I've referenced that whole circuit back to the other side of power back to common and it indeed is working correctly so um, give me a second I'm going to turn this off and uh, reset and I'm going to plug the heater back in with the fan and we'll do some high voltage checks all right so we got L1 and L2 coming into, this is all high voltage checks. So our power coming in, 212 volts, um, that of course feeds the unit. But uh, when these, when this contactor or sequencer or whatever you've got that, uh, you know, one of those DC voltage relays, whatever it is, that switch, once it closes, has to pass power. So we've got a two pole contactor. I'm gonna check the other two s screws on this uh, contactor that are leaving that's the load side and you can see I've got 212 volts we could do that voltage check all the way up to either set of um, safeties um, I've got a fusible link in one side and a high limit in the other one uh, I've got power there if these were closed like they should be normally closed then I would have the same power as I check on the opposite side um, power enters in powers got to leave okay and then so on and so forth so and then the last check I could do to make sure that it's going um, into this uh, this heater is right here on the side. So 
let me turn the power back on because I put that uh, clip back. All right, since I've checked voltage uh, on the circuit all the way up to the heater, the last check I put the clip back in, then I've, I should have uh, the heater working and it's uh, 210 volts and these uh, round ceramics on the side are the actual heater. So I've pulled the fan out the way. Um, so I'm gonna plug it back in and uh, everything should be working. So that's a rundown of real simple real simple voltage and amperage checks. Uh, we could check the heater to make sure it's working. 17.2 amps, 17.3 amps. We could also check the uh, speed on the fan to make sure it's working and it's uh, 1.3 amps. So, uh, um, hey, some of these videos you have to pause, rewind, watch again, um, and take your time on it. But wiring it up, the sequence of operation, uh, that's easy enough. Voltage checks is a, um, the beginning of troubleshooting is a whole different ball game. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, if it does, hey, let me know. Uh, we're going to be starting furnaces soon. So uh, stay tuned.